Hi, welcome to Road to Vostok Develop episode 5. This episode represents the new format of the Develop series, which aims to minimize talking and focus fully on the progress of the project. All future videos on this channel will now be in this format. I believe that this is the best and the fastest way to produce content and at the same time maintain good development pace. Before the content of this episode begins, here's a little recap of what's going on behind the scenes. I have visited and photographed most of the Area 5 maps, and the design process for the Vostok side of maps has also been started. A new element in this game world is a special areas such as store and sea maps, which are basically non-PVE maps. The store will have the first in-game trader, and the idea is a bit similar like in Stalker, meaning there's a place in the game world for NPCs to gather, get tasks, trade and so on. The sea, on the other hand, is basically just a transition map which requires a boat or something else that floats and can move through water. The goal for this year's public demo 2 is this. I'm currently building three maps at the same time. Shipyard, village, highway. And also the work for the first permanent Vostok map begins next month. I'm also going to attempt to get those door and sea maps for the public demo too. In this devlog episode, I won't show these new maps yet, but they are progressing really well and I think it's time to show something about them in the next video. But now to the content of this episode. This episode was named the next chapter because many key issues have been fixed, much needed features added and in general the project is ready to move into the next phase of the production. This next one involves a bit of risk taking from my point of view, but as before, properly timed and planned risk taking is perfectly okay and often necessary. Basically, I have saved all of the profits from winning that business competition a few months ago, and now I will invest all that money directly for Road to Vostok. I will be hiring multiple freelancers to different key areas for the development. These are for example weapon audio, characters, vehicles and general 3D elements. I will still remain the only full-time developer, but I believe that through these freelancers, this project will receive many additional updates and the production process will be easy to speed up. And now, enjoy the devlog. 